guys, it's Natalia, and today I have another DIY video for you guys. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this OK OK shirt. And it's actually pretty easy to make, and I made it for the premiere of the movie back in June when I went with my friends. And we got like a bunch of compliments and stuff from people, and everybody's like, where'd you get them? And like, we made them. And so I was like, you know what? I might as well just show you guys how I made them, because I was going to make a few extras anyway. So let's get to it. Okay, so first of all, you'll need a blue shirt, some transfer paper, and some scissors. So what you're going to want to do, if you want to crop your shirt, I decided to measure mine out just so it's a little more even, and then I just um, marked it all, and then I just cut it and cropped it, and that is completely optional. You don't have to crop it if you don't want to, but I wanted mine to be cropped because I don't like the length of it. It was kind of too long for me, so you know, you know. And I already like have a document of the OK OK sign, but you're just going to want to go into Google and find the OK OK sign that you want, and then put it in the document and make it as big as you want and all that. And then you're going to go ahead and print that on normal paper first, just so that you can make sure it's the right size and all of that before you actually put it onto your transfer paper. And once you figure out that it's the right size and all that, you can go ahead and print it out on your transfer paper. Now you'll just want to carefully cut it out and make sure that you cut it nice and evenly and all that. And take your time if you're a bad cutter because, I mean, this is how it's going to look on your shirt, so you want it to look as nice as possible. Now you'll want to get your iron all heated up because we're going to be ironing all this on. And before you iron on the actual like OK OK sign, you're going to want to iron your shirt just to make sure there's no wrinkles when you put the sign on because once you put it on, you can't really like iron that back into place and all that. So you want to make sure your shirt is completely flat and wrinkle free. And then along with that, I decided to roll up my sleeve up twice just to make it look a lot cuter, but that is completely optional and you don't have to do that. But if you do that, you might want to iron it as well just so it stays in place a little better. And I definitely like rolling up the sleeves. I think it looks a lot cuter and gives it a better like finishing touch and makes it a little more personalized, I guess. And now you're going to want to take your OK OK paper and you're going to want to like peel it off because it is sort of like a sticker in a way and then you're going to want to place it wherever you want just make sure you want it, it you have it in the right spot and all that and then you're going to take the parchment paper that comes with the transfer paper and you're going to put that right on top and then you're just going to iron over it for like 10 to 20 seconds because you don't want to over iron it either because it can get pretty messy. So once you're done with that, you're just going to peel off the parchment paper and there you have it. That is how you make the OK OK shirt. So that is it for today's DIY. I hope you guys liked it and if you did, give it a big thumbs up and thumbs up for more DIYs and all of that fun stuff. And if you'd like to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, I'll have my links down below as well as at the end of the video. So. You guys can follow me on there, and I will most likely follow back as well. So, you know, win-win for all of us. So don't forget to subscribe for more. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!